Uh, so easy uh, that sorry, so easy that Kepa's hair remains straight. It's unfortunate Arsenal can't uh, replicate the Invincibles today by thirty more games still to beat Chelsea's record. Yeah, that, that one was a howler from Hamza when he said that would be done. To be fair, I saw more non-Arsenal fans say that than I did Arsenal fans on the terrace anyway. I'm just putting it out, but um, there we go. Uh, I just saw a very clear replay of Saliba's fault on multiple angles. 100% offside. It wasn't offside. The ball was played by Trossard. That, like, yeah. The ball was played by Trossard, my bro. I appreciate the super chat, but 100% it was a... Re- Listen, this is the point here. And uh, some Arsenal fans are confirming it's a red card and then saying it isn't by saying... But what about Konza on Saka? And what about so and, uh, Evans on, on, on Aubameyang? Yes, you said they were red cards. Therefore, you have to say... To, this is where people lose the debates. If you've said that those two are red cards, you have to agree this is a red card, but you challenge the inconsistency. It, and and that, that happened to me. There'll be, there'll be trolls online tonight on their YouTube channels or on their Instagram accounts or TikToks. And, oh, Terry said it was a red card, but still called out the referees. Yes, because people with brains can do two things at once. It's just, you know, I can multitask. It's as simple as that. Uh, Dio was right at the start of the season. We don't need a striker. Martinelli scored scored the two big chances we had. Um, they were difficult to come. Thank you for the super chat. When I did say we didn't need a striker, I simply said because we score in multiple different ways. And just to debunk what um, uh, Staffy was saying as well, Arsenal has scored 15 goals in seven games or eight games that we played this season. City has scored 17 goals. City has scored two set pieces from that, and we've only scored three set pieces. So when people say, well, set piece FC, I don't get it. We scored one set piece more than City, who have scored 17, and we scored 15. We scored two less goals than City. So this this stats that we like to use to try to make it seem like Arsenal, and then we've created the most big chances. Like, we are not finishing our chances. That's what the problem is. That's where the issue is. No, you know so, why you can't so, debunk so what I, think, I said? So, no, so you my know why you hit the bucket so, is because so I asked. I actually didn't no, no, make a statement. I, I, no, 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 not for you. Not for, I'm not saying like I'm saying. No, what no, but you were saying I'm the bucket. That, like that, that was me bringing what, something to the table to discuss that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I generally staffy. don't know what is it. I know. I said what's what I'm going to ask a question. I, no, I'm not saying that you you were um, asserting it. I'm saying what you dis, what you brought up. I wanted to debunk what you brought up, as in based off of what you brought up. I'm not saying you are certain that Arsenal is a set piece FC. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you talked about it and I wanted to debunk that. So if you generally look at it, City, who was supposed to be chasing, have scored two set pieces. We've only scored three out of the set pieces that we've taken this season. So the fact is there is a, there is a narrative that Arsenal is set piece FC because of how we score our set pieces or the noise we make around it. And I think it's because Arsenal fans make a lot of noise about it and rivals make it seem like, oh, most Arsenal gets a set piece, it's a penalty. Just take it mm. that way. And for that alone, it builds this facade. The truth is the stats show differently. 15 I think Staffy's thing holds water though, Dio. But I no, think no, it's I, with I, Odeg- I think it's because Odegaard's I, out. I generally believe you take Ode. Like I feel like people forget. I know we got them results in them games against Spurs. We done all right against City, etc. But I think people forget how good Odegaard is and how much he creates for us and how. I, I agree. I agree with you. Just, and I I'm think that is the biggest issue. Because I agree with Staffy. Not since that we ain't scoring the goals, but we're. We ain't making loads of like great opportunities to score goals. I, I and I yeah, agree with that. Again, 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 I'm saying I agree with you that it looks that way. But when you look at the stats, we're two goals behind City, who have scored the most goals this season in the last eight games. So my question again is: Yes, it doesn't look like that to the eye test for every single person. But when you look at the numbers, the numbers are very similar. So that's all. Yeah, I'm but saying. also, but but just to kind of rebut that, it can also be skewed by certain games, right? So there's, you know, we've had Leicester, right? We've had Southampton. Those, how we performed in two games can skew the overall context of how we performed over and, as and a in whole. Games, and in three games, games as a whole, whole right? So, so well, hold, on, games, hold on, can I, just, can I just finish my point, bro? So like I was saying to you, you're bringing up stats over the overall season. If you pepper, if if, if a player scores four or five goals in one game and has an, a blinder, his his statistical output will look will look a lot better over the course of a seat over the you know the last eight games. However, if you really look at those eight games, is he's done nothing in those other other in, in the other seven games beforehand, it looks like he's had a decent season, but really he's he's had one outstanding game. And we've had we had like we talked about earlier, I think um it galbled up when we talked about how the Leicester keeper had an outstanding game and we created chance after chance. So that's also this is where the eye test does kind of match up because that game the, the statistics in that game skews the overall statistics. However, when we look at Villa, when we look at 
when we look at the Man City game, when we look at the Tottenham game, we can't sit here and say the statistic that we created lots of clear cut chances in those games and our chance creation was at a top level. I'm not talking about chance creation. You're, you're missing my point. My point is not about chance creation. I'm saying overall, the stats that everybody keeps talking about is very similar to that of City. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, regardless of whether you, 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 you think it looks good or it doesn't look good, the point still beckons, if you look at it, right, that at the end of the day, we're two, two goals behind City, regardless of what anybody says. And they have Haaland. And we've played with 10 men again in three games out of our eight games. So factor in the fact that in three games, we played with 10 men, three red cards. They have Haaland, who's a goal machine, and we're just two goals behind them. They scored two set pieces and we scored three set pieces. All I'm saying is, if you look at the stats and don't even just, I'm not, and I'm not saying stats is everything, it, it, it tells a different story from how we narrate these things just because it doesn't pass our eye test. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this here says, uh, from, from the Gooner, he says, Dio, you said we don't need a striker to start because we scored 91 goals. Spurs have scored more than us this season, uh, but we are above them. It's about scoring in games where chances are few. I said, everybody made a point last season that we just needed a striker and we would go on to win the league. And I said, a team that scored 91 goals and over 120 goals in all competitions last season, even if you're going to show up your striking force, it's not that you're going to go and get a Haaland. There's no other Haaland out there. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 also th I also think, to be fair, I understand the challenge. However, the only games where you haven't gone on to win the games and score the goals are the three games that you've had a man sent off him. I don't think today proves the point I don't think the season has, has, has disproved it either. I think the, the jury's still out on it. And the problem I find, and I suppose this is what the world of social media has done, and it isn't just on Arsenal, it's on all football clubs. Every game or every bad performance or every good performance, I'll like, oh, wind Staffy up. Like Rasmus Hoyland was really good today. Doesn't It doesn't in reality. He was really good go today. go back and watch the match reaction and see if you talked about me. I did speak about you. Uh, but not in a negative way. But it, it wasn't a negative way. But the point is, it doesn't prove me right against Staffy because he was very good today. He'd have to do it for a long period of time. I, I think that's the issue here. The people that said we need an elite striker might end up being right. Dio that says, I don't think we do, might end up being right. I don't think the three games you have failed to win because you went down to 10 men, prove it or disprove it. I think the debate is still open, if I'm being absolutely honest with you, because there is that factor that you were down to 10 men and it, and it, it skews the, it, if you want to look at it as an experiment, it's one where you couldn't have, if you were being peer reviewed on an experiment on this, the fact you were down to 10 men, it would be written off. They wouldn't, they wouldn't take it as the gospel. You need more, more games essentially where you've got 11 men on the pitch. I think uh, Don, uh, they can say any, they, they can, sorry, Don, they can, they can do anything without Saka and Odegaard, uh, take the two best players of any top six teams, uh, and see what happens. Have FYI, Hamza, just to show you, you have no idea uh, what the rules are. Embarrassing. Saliba misses one game. I will say that as well. If you took the two best players away from City and then made them play three games with 10 men, there's a high chance they drop points in those games. <laughs> that is, there's a high chance. Every, every, all of us. If you took tomorrow, if, if I don't know, if Salah and... Um, Grab up my, use no, no, it, it, no, no, it's no, because you're the better team. If if Salah and Graven Birch are both missing, and then Van Dyke is sent off in the opening 30 minutes, it is not inconceivable that Liverpool lose, and not we just by the way nil. to Chelsea to mid table teams as well. It's normal, it's yeah, normal. we win one. Nil. You man were losing all over the shot when you just had when you had one centre back out injured for a season, that was your excuse. So, I do find it funny how it changes. For everybody. Not one. Terry, are you crying? Please don't. Yeah, I'm bawling my eyes out. You keep mentioning how much I'm crying, bro. It's yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. My team won today. I am buzzing. I'm watching match of the day tonight. I'm having a whiskey. Rasmus balled out. I do. You know I love the most is that although we won, Staffy was in tears because the two players that made that hates the most were amazing today and won us a game. He was crying. That's why he didn't turn up for the match reaction. That's, and that's instead, true. he 100%. instead he wore a onesie and filled up his dishwasher. Do you know what I, I mean? Vouch, so right. I this it. is the hoodie. Stop calling it. 100% that is right. 100% that is right. This is the hoodie. Right. Staffy, it's already cold. It's cold on your end, right? Bro, that, that it looks like a Care Bear onesie, bro. That's got like a bear-shaped thing on the stomach, isn't it? Like it's a bear, like a bear. 
<laughs> this is the butt under hoodie. There you go. Bro, when you lifted I that up. I do look like thought... a Care Bear because I'm, I'm pretty big to be wearing a furry. <laughs> like, I do look like a bear. <laughs> Man, they're dressed up as a teddy bear to come on the show. Uh, Dio, games like today in Brighton where we, ha- we only had... Op- where we had few opportunities to score. You don't think a striker like your Kodes are scoring those? Uh, he's do, burying do, those 100%. I do think he's burying those 100%. But you have to factor in that we were 10 men. The game against Brighton was 10 men. Your Kodes would have had to do a lot of defending the game, just like the other players. And then we would have to create chances for him to be able to go up there and score those goals. If it was 11 v 11, of course, your Chris is scoring that 100%. Exactly the same thing today. Martinelli mm. should be scoring that ball 100%, but he did not. He's not a your Chris. And my point mm. is, when you're 10 men down, again, that's another thing that you panic about. I'm not making excuses. Like yeah. I yeah, but, uh, Again, I, I, I'm going to get called out for simping for Arsenal here, but I, I've never heard analysis where people have gone, do you know what? We need a striker because you know them games where we're going to go down to 10 men and we need someone to be clinical for us. We need him for that. No one's ever said that in the history of football. Like, we have to be honest. No, I, I've never heard anybody, forget striker, say we need a certain type of player for the games where we're playing with 10 men. Has anyone ever heard that analysis from any football fan no. ever? So no, I think, no, again, I that's why I'm saying I think we need to be mindful that it could be right, it could be wrong. Because the, these games are anomalies. But th- I actually think the anomaly of being red cards should be a bigger talking point for Arsenal fans right now, that you've had three players sent off in eight games. That, for me, is a bigger yeah. talking point. But there we go. And the, irony, and the irony of all of it is that it wasn't even Habits that had the chances. We're talking as if no. Habits is the player that cost us today. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, say so you had your Chris on the pitch. It's still falling yeah. to Martinelli. It's, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So an, yeah. Uh, stop defending yeah. us, Terry. We were poor today and it was our mistakes. I didn't defend you. Go back and watch the beginning of the video. I said Saliba yeah. was a red card. I said that you wasted chances. I said that Kivi all made a mistake. I am not. I am defending the debate around do they need a striker or not, and saying that it's not been answered in either direction. That isn't defending you. That's being very balanced, my friend. But go watch the beginning of the video. I heavily criticise Arsenal. Anybody that says I didn't is a hater. And do you remember what you know what haters are? They're people that love you, but are jealous of you at the same time. So I'm not saying that's you. You might have just tuned in, but thank you very much indeed. Uh, I meant uh, Liverpool as favourites versus Arsenal next week with no Saliba, Odegaard, maybe Saka. Yeah, you are favourites now, aren't you, Hamza, to beat them? No, I'm not the favourite, KJ, to beat them. They're at the Emirates. Do I call you Hamza? Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, do you know what it is? Just, around, I was like, Hamza's still here. No, no, it's, just when, it's because when Hassan gets all delusional like this, I just think Hamza. That's what it is. Yeah. Hussam, stop this. Stop this. <laughs> I, there is um, nothing tri- to stop. It's at the Emirates. There is nothing to stop. Tr- Trimless, do you, do, who do you, who's the favourites next week, in your opinion, at the Emirates? Arsenal, with no Saliba, no Saka, no Odegaard, no, 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 no main striker, or... Uh, Don Hamza's, uh, sorry, Don Hassan's uh, Liverpool team. <laughs> no, it's, it's for me, it's, it's definitely Liverpool. I can't even lay. I'm not even going to front, especially after the showing today, even before we had the red cards. I hate this matchup, bro. They, yeah, they, they I'm always say, say no, 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 you're going to win. No, you're going to win. I hate this All right, bro, I have to be honest, bro. It's not like we're playing Bolton, bro. We're playing Liverpool, fam. Them wanna... And Slot's got them playing differently now, isn't it? So, like, uh, they're going to be more... Yeah, 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 yeah. Staffy, we're going yeah. to struggle. We have... Yeah, literally, our, we, we literally have our backbones out. We have Saka out, we have Odegaard out in midfield, and mm. we have Saliba out in defense. I didn't say it was going to lose, I just said we're not favorites. You, so yeah, like you realize, favorite. like that is like that is like taking away Van Dyke, Gravenberg, and, and, and Mosala. No, no, the- I agree. I, I'm being shameless. I, I, I expect uh, yeah. a little bit. That is that's a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing uh, shameless. Look, I want to.